what's going on all right so I want to try my best to um, to document uh, some of the thoughts as I'm going and things like that well, happy Sunday to you today is Sunday I don't know where you're gonna get this video but anyway this is a really nice afternoon out here I'm in the AC though in the car but uh, it's a little hot out there but I'm coming from church as you can see my my nice uh, trad attire here right so anyway I was just watching a video I'm always watching I'm paying attention to what's going on this YouTube streets right of uh, the Lapif Network uh, it's a young uh, girl up there sorry young lady up there uh, Lauren who was talking about she would like the idea of uh, arranged marriage right so I see a lot of people fantasizing about the idea of uh, arranged marriage uh, so it's usually a situation where a person desires marriage or a person is trying to hold the ladies accountable, right? That's the new thing, right? Hold the ladies accountable. They shouldn't just want, they shouldn't have preferences. They should just be okay with marriage as a duty, right? So a couple of things. First of all, is marriage a duty? Can it work as a duty? Um, can marriage work as a duty? The other question is, can, um, arranged marriage work in this environment in the western world or in a westernized world so there are two different things right there's western world there's also westernized world so i don't care you may be in a third country you're also living in a ever-growing westernized world right you know i was telling somebody the other day i said uh, even people in nigeria a lot of times in a lot of aspects of life they are more westernized than i am right so it's very easy to fantasize about something but the question is if you touch if you try to put it into practice will it work all right see the reason why i reached marriage may have seemed to work first of all i don't think it worked because if it worked it wouldn't have disappeared from the society where it used to be practiced 60 70 80 years ago right the reason why it disappeared is because clearly it wasn't working some people still claim like some people still practice it i'm not disputing that some people practice it what i'm saying is that if you engage in a or you're open to the idea of arranged marriage does that does that does that does that give you immunity against divorce i don't think so you can ask a few of your indian friends that are there's also an increasing rate of divorce even arranged marriages, right? And it's not, it, there's nothing, just like there's nothing wrong with marriage itself, there's nothing wrong with arranged marriage. So the problem is that when you change, uh, when you change systems, right? If you have poor problems with who you are as a people, as a mindset, you're still gonna have the same problem. It's like trying to replace your shadow, as I always like to say. You cannot replace your shadow, right? You can't run away from your shadow, uh, provided you are staying under the same umbrella of the, sh the sun that may be shining on you, the light that you're under, right? You can't run from your own shadow. Like, that's like wasting your own time, essentially. So, back to what I was saying, right? There's nothing wrong with arranged marriage. There's nothing wrong with marriage in, in itself. But something is wrong obviously with the people right so if you're the same person and you try to change systems you could be a man you could be a woman uh, you're still going to have the same problem even if you avoid marriage right some people think the solution is to avoid marriage altogether or avoid engaging in a long-term relationship you're still going to be in a relationship as a default of human beings right uh, unless you want to live in a cave most people don't right so in that case the problem is your skill set when it comes to relationships and you need to learn how that works and it's gonna have to be with respect to the people that you are building relationship with it's gonna have to be with respect to the generation that you live in so you cannot run back to 1970s or back to 70 years ago and think that you're gonna solve your problem 
You can't because it's simply impossible. You're going to have to operate under the umbrella of the society that we live in right now. That means the type of people that you're going to engage with right now because you don't have a choice. You have to be in relationships with people. Uh, either be it romance or business, you have to learn how the mind works. People are a lot more enlightened. It is what it is. There's nothing you can do about that. People are a lot more enlightened. It is what it is. There is nothing you can do about that. Learn how to respect what is, right? And learn how to become a better person. The only solution is becoming a better you. That's it. There's no way around it, okay? You can't run from your own shadow. There's no way around it. I don't know how much I can stress this, but I want to keep talking about this, okay? Uh, no, we're not going to bring back arranged marriage. Why? Because the society cannot tolerate that. What is a society? You, you and I, right? And Lauren was right about something that men and women are not open enough to be able to deal with that. Is it is it deliberately not being open? It's not necessarily, not all the way, not 100%. It's more so of it is what it is. People are enlightened. It's like eating the red pill. Once you know what you know, you can't go back. Right, and the best thing you can do with that is okay, these are the information uh, that I've been presented with, these are the knowledge that I have. What's the best way to build a beautiful life around the knowledge that I now have? Right, staying in the red pill range is not gonna help me either. You're not gonna avoid people, you're not gonna avoid relationships, you're not gonna avoid marriage. You can try to, but it's not going to solve your problems. The only solution to the problem is to become a better self. Become better than yourself yesterday, yourself of yesterday. Become a better version of yourself, right? This is the same thing is applicable in business. It's also applicable in personal life. That's what I have for you on this video. Hopefully you're an enlightened educator. Go ahead and download the book for free. Go ahead and attend my masterclass for free. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. Talk to you now. Peace.